today I'm going to show you my garden because I was doing some gardening today as I got some time these are the bottle guard locky plant locky wine and these are the lady fingers you can see how beautiful yellow flower it is and then I have flowers here a lot of flowers butterflies dancing around as you can see I just love love growing plants in my house and here I created another small garden where I have strawberry, curry pata, neem plant and lemon, bay leaves, chamomile, parsley, this is olive and uh, goji berry, a lot of mint here and again some flowers here and there. I love gardening. Whenever I get some time to put my hands into the soil, I would just do that. <laughs> it's just fun. And you connect with the nature real nicely. This is a beautiful cilantro plant. Cilantro, what you can say. Coriander. It's a beautiful plant. Very fragrant. And uh, then I have this apple tree which I planted with some marigold and this is my chili garden. All kinds of chilies I'm growing, all kinds of chilies and capsicums, you can say green chili and uh, capsicum here. So and I don't do any, I don't put any kind of... Uh, you know fertilizer or stuff I chemical fertilizer I only use just the organic stuff it just smells really bad <laughs> when you do it but then your vegetables turned out to be real nice this is avocado plant here are some radishes I love eating raw stuff so you just come to the garden and you can eat these are blue purple flowers again here are some more flowers and lettuce I'm growing and more flowers and there are some rose mint white rose and stuff these are the wines of uh, cucumber there are nice cucumbers growing actually if you can see here nice cucumbers and then I have another stuff a lot of green mint green uh, coriander and or you can call it cilantro but yeah I love gardening and I was fixing things here today so this is how it looks I just sit sometimes and do here do my sadhana here it's very peaceful it's very nice so today we'll sit here somewhere I'll set up and then we will talk about some important stuff Namaste Jai Shivai it's nice here today very nice in fact very fine fine weather it's neither cold not nor very hot but yeah the light the lumen <laughs> factor of uh, sunlight here in Australia is a lot it's hard to keep your eyes open <laughs> out in the Sun and uh, but yeah I'm in this surrounding in the backyard in my house I was doing gardening so I thought let me just today create a video as well for you guys so you see let's talk about one question that 
often bothers a lot of people. What you should and should not be asking your guru? If you have a, a spiritual teacher, then what are the things that you should be asking and what are the things that you shouldn't be ask, asking? Most of the time, when you are walking your spiritual journey, every small thing will look like, oh, something big has happened. <laughs> or maybe, what if my funda of life is wrong? Or what if I understood this thing wrong? Then where will I land up? Where will I end up? And you just end up with nothing but bothering your guru, <laughs> talking to your guru. And if he or she is not answering or if they are not available, then you feel sort of bad about it or you think that, Oh, why is he or she not answering? And, but you see, there are a lot of small, small things in life. And while you're walking your spiritual journey, every small thing does look very big, very important to you. And you just don't want to go wrong. And But what I would say is just have faith, okay? Plain, simple thing. Just have some faith on yourself that what you are doing and the way you are thinking or feeling about it in that very moment, then it's okay, it's all right. If it is way too much wrong and you start doing something bad, then definitely your guru is going to hit you, kick you hard, okay? Your guru is going to tell you, guru is going to explain to you and punish you and yeah, the real gurus are real gurus and not everybody is a, as easy of a, a spiritual enthusiast and uh, sometimes you all we all need that kind of a lecture from our guru or hard time from our guru where guru says damn you shouldn't be doing this and why did you do that and you get a good smacking so yes you know don't bother about small small things just have faith on yourself which is very important while walking your spiritual journey we are trying to open our anahata right heart chakra and uh, it's all about having faith. Faith on yourself, faith on divine, faith on something. It's just the presence of faith. It could be, you know, very detached kind of a faith or a faith that is not bound to something or somebody, but you have faith while walking your journey. In other words, you have confidence in yourself that, yes, what you, whatever you are doing and how, whichever way you are thinking, it's okay, it's all right. It doesn't matter that much, you know. And if there are big things, then trust that Guru will take care of all those things. So this is one small thing that you need to be a little careful about. What you should, what that I ate this today and this happened and I went to this person and that happened. And not everything in your life Guru needs to be bothered about. Small, small things, you need to grow up and start taking care of it yourself. I hope you understand that because cultivating faith is a big thing. It's a big deal. It's about opening your anahata and then, uh, you know, looking at the universe, looking at the life in a very positive way that yes, whatever will happen, even if my understanding is wrong, then in that very moment, just have faith that if it is wrong, I will get a sign to change it. I will get a sign or some knowledge, some wisdom from somewhere to fix it if I am wrong. But don't think that every time you need to ask a question, ask a question, ask a question. Every la damn little small thing Guru needs to be bothered with, don't do that kind of a thing. <laughs> Let Guru bother about your spiritual journey, your path, your direction, where you are going, where you will end up. Let Guru save you from those big things. Small, small, what to eat and what to wear and what to whom to meet, where to go, where not to go, I don't bother. Guru about all these things. So I hope you understand that and it helps you cultivate faith in yourself, divine faith in yourself. Helps you can cultivate self-confidence, okay, that you're walking your journey and you should be okay, you'll be fine. All right? Thank you. Namaste. Jai Shivai.